Hi guys, so I'll quickly show us how to take the measurements starting with the vertical measurements, okay? So all your vertical measurements must start from the highest point of the shoulder, which is here, okay, and not here, here. So I'll start with the bust point, that is shoulder to your nipple, it's called the bust point. Make sure, you, make sure you touch the nipple and make sure you're putting on a bra, okay? Then shoulder to your under bust, you can use your bra as a guide. Okay, but it should be where your your bust stops, right? Then you have half length, okay, or show that your waist measurement somewhere around the navel or above the navel, okay? That's your shoulder to waist measurement. Then you have um the length of the blouse. So the length of the blouse depending it depends on the length you you want. And when you're taking vertical measurement, please don't bend down. Okay, so show that to wherever you want the length of the blouse to stop and make sure the tape goes over the bust and not tilting to this any of the sides okay so this is the length of the blouse to wherever you want it to be okay and then if you want to take length of a short dress can you see what i've done that is in case somebody is not around but uh, it's always best for somebody to measure your length for you don't bend like this so you measure up to somewhere below the hip line can you see what i've done then for me, you can now bend, but don't bend your leg so they can get your, probably your short gown length or something. Or just call somebody in your house to help you measure the full length. That's, that one is very easy. Now, uh, next thing is um, your full length. Okay, yeah, I just said that. Now, for bust circumference measurement, see the way I place my tape like this. Place it over the fullest part of your bust and make sure you, you know, move the tape up and down to be sure you're measuring the fullest part. And then... Um, on this side make sure one finger is inside as is but please don't add allowance please same thing for the waist measurement can you see you measure the natural waist don't add allowance to the measurement if you want the tailor to add allowance for you can tell them verbally not adding to the measurements please then for hip circumference you measure around the widest part of your hip so you take the tape up and down so you get the widest part let it go around your bum bum okay and then you you take down the measurements right okay then now the armhole measurements i don't know why some tailors use this but i use it because we don't all have the same armhole measurement so you measure the armhole like this is different from the bicep measurements now for bicep measurements you're going to measure the widest part of your arm the widest part of your arm okay not the down part so you take your tape and measure the, the widest part of your arm are seen like this you can see that i didn't add allowance those of you that go and add allowance to the measurement you now start abusing the tailor the tailor did not show your clothes well measure the right measurement now this is for sleeve length depending on where you want the sleeves to stop okay from the tip from the edge of my shoulder all the way down to where you want the sleeves to stop then for across back usually someone is supposed to take you this but you can do this by yourself locate your backbone that small bone at your back, then measure towards the tip of your shoulder. Okay, that's how to take your back measurement. So when you, once you do this, you know. So if this is seven, that means your across back or shoulder is fourteen. That's what it means because I'm I'm measuring half of it. Okay, and uh, I'm trying to think. Okay, if I miss any other measurement, just say it in the comment section. Okay, so this is how to take your measurements. In case you want to send it to a tailor, then if you are sewing a skirt, the waist is different. You have to bring your tape lower down, like down. You understand? So that's for taking waist measurements for skirts and trousers. Then when you are measuring um, length for your skirt and trousers, measure from the side, not in front, from the side. Okay? And if you are measuring yourself too, don't bend. Don't bend. Just let the tape flow or call someone to help him measure it so it's as simple as that if i missed out any other measurement just sit in the comment section and i'll do that video but basically you can take this measurement and send it to your tailor okay so if you found this video helpful kindly share like and follow this page thank you bye